I am Sister Liberata Fernandez, the President of Goa Yet Masters Association. This is the fourth All Goa State Level Conference for School Heads and we used to have it for overnight. This year I coordinated with the school leaders globally who are hosting an international conference at uh, Resort Rio Alcora. So having that in mind and their theme, which after having three, four meetings with them, we came up to the theme and the theme for this conference is Element Add, Exploring the Hexer of Education. This is fundamentally based on the six main elements that we as educators need for holistic development and uh, which will be taken care of earth, of air, water, then space and self. Entire conference will be on sustainability, discipline, and passion, adaptability for the heads of the institution. There are 50 odd speakers coming across the globe. We are, who are registered for this Goa Headmasters Association, are 180 in number so far, which was done professionally by the this organization. They are uh, GSLC and Inspire. Their committee is already in Goa, while we already meet them, met them once, and from tomorrow they will be at Resort Rio. At the moment they are around in Belgium, but uh, I am on one of the panelists. Well, I am invited to speak on the sportsmanship while our school is also doing very well in sports. More than that, uh, uh, the inaugural will be done by the Director of Education, Sir Shailesh Jingde, and uh, we have their founder and co-founder, that is Pankaj and Sunny, who will be who are running this for the last 14 years. The speakers for the event are coming globally. Uh, we have Suresh Prabhu Desai, who is travelling from London, who would be there, and uh, Rajeshwari, uh, also they are there for the valedictory function, who will be giving also their keynote address. Our director of education would give the keynote address for the inaugural at 2 o'clock. We start the conference in the morning at 9.30, with the main speaker that we have asked for us as heads is stress to success which uh, Sapna Agarwal will be handling this topic. Other than that, covering the six elements what are needed for all of us as human beings will be taken care. I wish all of us all the very best while we are also on the threshold, although it's four years now and Siksha Sapta is on for NEP 2020 which was started, fourth anniversary, that this is also happening during this time where the heads of the institution get themselves abreast to the latest whatever we require. I wish all of us and um, all the heads of the institution, all who have traveled across, all the very best to do their best and we will come refreshed. This is my ardent wish and a prayer. God bless all who will enjoy and who will have a relaxing time at Resort Rio to get insights from all. Global. Thank you. When well, is it? Thank you. 26th. Oh, sorry. This is happening on 26th of uh, July. Morning 9.30 we start. But the inaugural is at 2 o'clock. And the validatory it is in the afternoon on 28th with the award ceremony. So some of the heads of Goa also would be awarded that day. And they have numbered as 50. Is it a two-day conference? Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. So 26th, 27th, 28th. This is the first time that we are having the international conference. Yeah, first time. So it is internationally, it is through some of my contacts that I got to know this uh, party who is organizing here and uh, people traveling across and I thought it is a good opportunity for us to get some ideas, to know what uh, our global school is doing. Because who will be the resource person? My panelists also are coming across. One is international. Because we already had two meetings online to decide what we could speak on. There will be any felicitation? Felicitation on the last day.
We will have felicitation for the heads of the institution. Goa, they have they said select 50. Well, otherwise they have this award ceremony which they pay for that. But they say it is not a paid uh, thing. But then we will be for the work that we are doing here. Mentoring the young minds. That is the reason they said we are the host. You will be very, they will be very happy to have us. Ma'am, your topic and theme is very important. So, how are you going to implement that? See, this year is uh, sustainable development year. Mm. You know, recently even Goa government has already formed a committee on uh, this, and uh, the schools have to adhere to 17 goals. So, globally, this theme is taken, and I was very happy because recently I was in Bangalore, Christu Jayanti College, and they had hosted a paper presentation which uh, across the globe, 165 schools, colleges had applied for their presentation. We were shortlisted as among the first 10. And I presented the paper in uh, uh, May, which uh, among those 10, we, I, our school was third. I did the presentation on 3rd of uh, May at Bangalore. Apart from this, uh, process spoke about the NEP in probably four years. So, how with this conference are uh, going to get the inputs of uh, how the NEPs? Inputs for the conference here and there, they are they are supposed to touch on with the six elements what we are looking ahead for. Like uh, today, whatever we are doing in school, activity based. At the same time, the subjects that are introduced for the children now, interdisciplinary and uh, vocational studies which I think in the near future the children will do a tremendous job. First year is a little difficult. Everybody just getting to know how we will go about. But uh, everything is done in a little haste, which the schools also find a little difficult. Which uh, I'm happy that NEP is very good for us. But what is happening around is we are not objecting to this fact. We want it to be started in a good way so that the schools are prepared and we have sufficient space. Like uh, big schools like us, we really don't have space to adhere to all the demands. We require time for the same. But otherwise, uh, NEP is very good. National education policy in itself, it's a time that we prepare the children for the near future. But the complaint is that the parents have been not taken in confidence. Uh, for parents the, and what, what about that? They make the most of the noise. They said, we don't know what is any. See, listen, I would not like to speak about what parents are saying because we see it's already started and uh, it is on each school also how they address this issue. Like for us, we had a session for the parents. <coughs> We had all the 900 parents which we said, we on trial basis we will try the timing that is given. We will see how it is uh, applicable to our children, whether children are receptive to these things. Because uh, we started, we are given time till this end of month. And to decide from August what are you doing. I mean, in regards to NAP, your meeting also happened with the director. So any major suggestion from your side you again? Major suggestion when we had this, no, we, it was one to one meeting one-to-one -one meeting with the Director of Education, with the Secretary of Education, the, with the Assistant, and we had, uh, uh, they, they discussed with us and, uh, and the board members. We also had taken down certain points, what would be difficulties for us, like teaching faculty, space, space <coughs> and uh, the working hours. Like what is there for us, the working hours, what each teacher puts in, is 21 and a half hour, that is the workload of the teacher. What is asked now, it's a little beyond. But when we spoke to the Secretary of Education, he said, please go ahead with what is your decision. This is what was told. Ma'am, one more thing, you are the keynote speaker for sportsmanship. So what would be your message for the students to get involved in the sport and make a career out of it? Motivation is very important. See, for me, this is my fourth year in the Pension Circle. We are on the limelight for sports because I motivate my teachers, encouragement, appreciation and to the students. You can see we have around 300 students on the ground early morning and the teachers are there. It's all motivation that is needed to the kids and this cooperation of the parents. Facilities. And we have started a 
we are developing as we are. Although at the moment we take another ground, but uh, uh, our development of the school ground is on. For this year national games, any of your students participating? Any confirmation like this? We are not so sure. They have for that. We will, I was not the uh, meeting or anything like that. But then thereafter they know that our school is doing very well. There are the clubs approach us that they want to tie up with us for our students to join them later. We have given our confirmation to Cesar. Cesar work already met and had a meeting with us and what are the things they will do for our children at the grassroots level. But the King's is in collaboration with us, the King's school. Like our children are there, they have a lot of, they have uh, matches for under 6, under 8, under 10. So under 12, we are fielding matches with them. And this is a league that is on. Yes. Thank you for the success of any implementation. The heads have to be uh, motivated first. The heads are convinced. Then uh, this is carried out to the team, that's the student, to the teachers. Then it is spoken in collaboration with the parents. So when we speak of NEP, NEP is scale based. So if the heads are convinced, that is why our president, Sister EP, has taken this initiative to have this uh, conference with uh, along with international speakers so that our heads are motivated and uh, the success of the implementation will, will take place. Now for, for any progress to take place, we require time, which always sister has mentioned. But how to take it, it will be at the grassroots level, then it will be at each individual school level. So how to adapt to these policies uh, will, will take place only if the heads are motivated. And that is uh, the focus of this uh, three weeks conference. Thank so, you. Yeah. Sir Dipok Naik is the Vice President of Boa Head Masters Association and Ms. Mabel Dacosta is the Secretary for Boa Head Masters Association. We work as a team.